These are computers, and so is this. It's called an iButton, and it's about the size and weight of a small coin. A closer look inside its protective canister reveals a battery and a microprocessor, complete with memory and a real-time clock. The breakthrough for me was this tiny temperature sensor, the component that turns this I button into a compact, standalone, go almost anywhere temperature logger. It's called a thermocron, and each one is an individual thanks to its unique serial number. They're the foundation of the History of Winter Thermocron Quest and will be used by global snowflake network participants to track winter temperatures around the world from Lake Placid, New York to the Arctic tundra. There are many types of temperature lockers used in the field. The simplest are analog or digital thermometers that provide a measurement that can be read on site and recorded by hand. Uh, layer 20 minus 1.9. Other systems consist of a temperature sensor connected to a data logger and a calculator or computer to record the measurements. But the Thermocron brings a valuable compact portability to the scene, and it can be programmed to be left on its own in the field to record time-coded temperature data at user-defined intervals for up to a year. Programming the Thermocron is called missioning. Software is available online for download, though currently for Windows users only. Now for the physical connections. After attaching the probe to the USB adapter, it is connected to the computer. The Thermocron is placed in the probe, the software is activated, and missioning begins. Each Thermocron is identified by its serial number. Some of the parameters available are record interval, start time, and alarm settings. It all depends on your experiment, and the possibilities are endless. You can put one in your car, place one in the freezer, even put one in your pocket. You can measure the temperature of the air, the water, the soil. Whatever its mission, the Thermocron stands up to environmental hazards and yields a treasure trove of temperature information. Once each Thermocron is retrieved from the field, its temperature history is ready to be unveiled. So back into the probe it goes. You can see a list of the readings, or use the options to create a graph or histogram of the whole experiment. For further scientific analysis, the data can be imported into a program such as Excel. Here, data from one or more Thermocrons can be organized and graphed to ultimately contribute to a conclusion. In a classroom setting, thermocrons support inquiry-based methods in science, experimentation, discovery, and reporting. But their use extends beyond the classroom. Anyone can invent an experiment, perform it, collect the data, and write a short report of their findings. The only question is, what question can a set of long-range temperature data help answer? That's, that's how it works. But one aspect of my research uh, yeah. is looking at the ecology of, wood, of yeah. woodpeckers in Ponderosa Pine Forest. And I think it'll be a really great opportunity to drop in uh, uh, thermocrons into the nests and, and watch the, uh, the temperature profile of, of the creatures. I'm going to pair two of my students up and find out the temperature of the school by placing one of the thermocrons on the top floor of the school and placing one at the bottom of the school. At the end of two days, you download this and you see the whole picture. And then instead of it becoming just data, there's a story associated with it. Why it happened, what happened here. To support your use of Thermocrons and experimentation, this multimedia guide has been developed. The slideshow and print materials will walk you through the procedures. You can come back anytime you need help. So pick up a Thermocron and see what you can discover with this unique temperature logging device.